The question, how do you determine which ear is in BPPV? Determining which ear is affected in BPPV will depend on the type of BPPV present. To not complicate things too much, I'll only go into three variants of BPPV. First, the most common form of BPPV is posterior canal BPPV, which is diagnosed by placing the head in Dick's Hall Pike position, turning the head 45 degrees to the right or left side, then lying back with the head extended below the plane of the body 30 degrees. Placing a person's head in this position will result in brief nystagmus, in this case eye movements are an upbeat and rotational jerking movement, and vertigo in the affected ear is the ear on the same side to which you turned the head initially, the ear closer to the floor. The second most common form of BPPV is horizontal canal BPPV. This variant is diagnosed by having the person lie straight back with their head elevated 30 degrees, then turn the head to the right and left, looking for horizontal nystagmus, eyes jerking or beating to the right or left, in each position. For horizontal canal BPPV, the nystagmus is called geotropic, or beating toward the ground, so that with the head to the right, a right beat nystagmus is present and with the head turned to the left. A left beat nystagmus is present. So, vertigo and nystagmus with horizontal canal BPPV occurs with the head turned to the right and left. To determine the affected side is simply the side where the greater amount of nystagmus and vertigo occur. The third most common BPPV variant is called horizontal canal cupulolithiasis. Unlike the first two forms of BPPV, where the crystals are free-floating in the semicircular canal of the inner ear, in the case of cupulolithiasis, the crystals are stuck to a membrane of the semicircular canal called the cupula. Placing the head in the same positions as described for horizontal canal BPPV causes atotropic nystagmus, or beating away from the ground, so that in head right the nystagmus is left beating and in head left, the nystagmus is right beating. The affected side is determined by the head position of the lesser amount of vertigo and nystagmus, opposite of horizontal canal BPPV.